Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're all fabulous. We are doing amazing, super busy. Holidays were awesome. We went just, I mean, we were on the go the whole time. We went to Disneyland. We went and did this North Bowl experience. My family was in town. I mean, it's just been go, go, go. So it's been awesome and super excited for what uh, 2019 is going to bring us and what it's going to bring you guys as well. And I wanted to just update you guys on all of my project pans that I had in 2018, kind of the finale for them. Um, one, I'm going to still continue, but um, I'll see if I, you know, I probably will do like one last video with that one. But so I had my Project 10 Pan All Lip Products, Project Pan That Palette Eyeshadow Edition. And then I also had my face palette edition too. First off, I had my Urban Decay Naked Basics. This was the original one. This was the palette that I wanted to use up. And my goal was to use all four of these first shadows, which I did, which I'm super excited about. I wanted to just hit pan on this one, which I did have a good amount of pan that I hit at the end. And then I didn't really have a goal for this one because I didn't like this color. But I am officially done with this, thank goodness, and now I can toss it. I am going to show you guys all of my empties that I've had as well. I have makeup and beauty, so I will do that as well. But that's going to go, and I'm super excited to have it go away. <laughs> so then I had my Lorac Pro Palette. This is my face palette that I was panning, and um, I have done pretty well on this. It's still going strong, though. So my ultimate goal is to finish up the beige highlight highlight and then the light contour completely. I still have a little bit left in each of those pans but not a lot and I'm thinking that hopefully here in the next month or so, a few weeks or so, I'll have those completely done. Um, I don't use the deep contour, just don't really need it for a shadow and it's definitely way too dark for my skin tone. And then I do want to still hit pan on the medium contour and the shimmer highlight which there is just continuing to have layer and layer in there that is going away. So I think I'll be able to do that by the time I finish all those up. So excited. And then once that happens, this I will toss as well and start on a new palette. And then I had my Project 10 Pan All Lippies. So I'm gonna show you the ones that I used up completely first. So I had a NYX Retractable Lip Liner. This was in the color what were you, Fruit Punch, and it is gone. So I had started out and it was all the way up at that red line, so now it is gone. So I really love lip liners. I need to use lip liners more and like, I just think they're great. So then the other one I used up was the Lipstick Queen. This was in Hey Sailor. It was a nice blue lipstick that would change your lips um, depending on your chemistry, the warmth of your lips to kind of a nice light berry shade. And it was really great just to kind of apply. You didn't have to be you know, precise with it or anything like that. So I did really like this. Had a good moisturization to it as well. So at the beginning was that red line and now it is gone. Then we had the, oh my gosh, all of it's worn off now. It was the NYC lip gloss in, was it Mocha or something like that? And it is totally gone. Um, I mean, there's still probably, if I really wanted to try to get crazy, a little on um, around the edges, but I really tried to get as much out of this as I could. It was basically brand new when I got it. That was, I think, the first upline or update, the second one, and then it is gone. I used up my Fresh Sugar Little Lip lip Balm. That's where that was. I used up my lip gloss. This is the Lip Sense by Senegence, the um, Bogavia Gloss, and it was this kind of light pink shade. Used that up completely. Um, I think that was our last update, and then it's done. I had the Tarte Energy. This was also one of those products that changes based off of like the temperature of your lips. And this one actually got pretty bright pink. Um, and so I had it right here as a sample. Use that completely up. And then this was the Bare Minerals Moxie Speak Your Mind. This one technically didn't use all of it. Um, it was just slowly breaking and breaking and like melting. And one of the times I used it, it snapped off and fell on the ground, so it was a goner. So this one wasn't done 100% on my lips, but it still is done, so I'm happy about it. And then I had this beauty right here. 
This was the um, Lip Slip by Sarah Happ. And now that it's been sitting in a container for a really long time, a little bit more has gone to the bottom, but it has been just so well used that I am okay with calling this done even though there may be a little bit left that has settled. And then two products that I didn't finish up completely. I had the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain in Honey. And this one also was one of those products that like on my skin turned out a lot more pink. And so for some reason I wasn't gravitating towards it a lot because it just didn't match a ton of things when, you know, just everyday makeup looks because I like to wear a lot of bright colors on my eyes. So, I mean, I had a little progress since the last time, but I kind of just ignored this one. So, I'm just going to put it back in my, my stash and maybe eventually I'll kind of pick it up um, or it might eventually just kind of go away if I don't get use out of it. And then I had the NYX Butter Gloss in Meringue. This one's a really pretty color, really nice uh, gloss, a little on the thicker end, um, but I really liked it. I say it's probably about halfway. There still seems to be quite a bit in there. It's one of those ones that's kind of hard to see. I love the smell of it. Mm. But there's still, I think, quite a bit in there, but I used a lot. Um, this I would use to kind of mix a lot because the color is pretty um, pigmented and bright and on like the purple tone, which I love, but for everyday use, again, it's not always 100% um, gonna match a lot of things. So I would kind of just put this on and then over like a nude to kind of make it a little bit more um, even tone. Same with that one. So that is my progress. I feel really good about all of the makeup that I used up because there's even more um, you'll see in my empties and then I'll do like an overall just makeup empties from everything that I've used up and there's a lot. So I'm excited about that. Um, I definitely want to use up even more makeup in 2019. So I'm going to kind of think about some different project pans that I want to do for that. Let me know if there's any fun challenges going on um, so I can participate in that as well. And happy 2019. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Bye.